Welcome to the Animal Crossing New Horizons Guide to July. This is the seventh in what is 12 videos to guide you into making the most out of every month of the year in Animal Crossing New Horizons. We'll discuss all the different creatures that can be caught, events that will happen, and birthdays that will be celebrated. Keep in mind that this video is being made in June of 2021, and there's plenty of updates to come that might introduce content that's not covered in this video. But without further ado, let's get into it. In Japanese culture, Tanabata is in remembrance of Hikaboshi and Orihime, star-crossed lovers separated by the Milky Way. On the 7th of July, they finally get to meet, and that apparently has some correlation to this bamboo grass. Either way, pick it up from Nook Shopping, and see some of the neat things that are written on it by your villagers. On the second Saturday of July is another fishing tournament. Catch as many fish as possible within the three minute time limit that CJ gives you to earn some exclusive fishing tournament items. It's the only month of the year that has both a fishing tournament and a bug off. The bug off, however, takes place on the fourth Saturday of the month and is hosted by the bug enthusiast Flick. From June 22nd to July 22nd, you can pick up a cancer table recipe from Celeste. Craft it using cancer fragments that wash up on your beach the day after wishing upon shooting stars. From July 23rd to August 22nd is the Leo star sign. This sign's furniture is the Leo sculpture, a wall-hung furniture item that you can also learn from Celeste with your Leo fragments. The following villagers all celebrate their birthday in the month of July in order from the 1st to the 31st. Kurt, Agent S, Blair, Apollo, Samson, Mira, Bree, Jeremiah, Static and Huck, Mott and Toby, Victoria, Olive, Twiggy, Dizzy, Carolyn, Frida, Jay, Croak, Nibbles, Yuka, Prince, Chow, Elvis, O'Hare and Rex, Peck, Curly, Eric and Ketchup, Truffles, Lionels, Frank, and Grizzly and Julia. It's the second busiest fishing month of the year, with 58 fish available this month. Five new ones appear at the start of the month, and only one is leaving. Let's discuss these six fish that you need to get, starting with the one that is leaving. The only fish leaving this month isn't actually a fish at all. It's the tadpole, a very common pond creature that is available all day to catch before July is over. Now, let's talk about the five fish arriving this month. The sweet fish is quite common and will be coming to your rivers in July. You should make decent bank with them since they're worth 900 bells despite their abundance. Like most giant fish in this game, the Napoleon fish has a high selling price to counter its scarcity. It can be found in the ocean at most times of the day and is only available for July and August. Much less rare, though, is the pufferfish. They're around all day and have the same shadow size as a horse mackerel for comparison. One of the few peer exclusive fish in the game is the blue marlin. Its unique spawn point combined with its rarity means that it takes a lot of bait to reel this guy in. When you see a fin in the water, you'd probably rather it be a shark than an ocean sunfish, but still, it's worth 4,000 and is certainly nothing to sneeze at because of that. Over four-fifths of your bug encyclopedia can be filled out this month, as there are 61 bugs available in July. There are 21 new bugs spawning this month, and just one that is leaving, so... Settle in, as this will take a while to go over all of them. The lone bug leaving after July is the honeybee. It'll be buzzing around your flowers for the last time until March. The first of many bugs arriving this month is the grasshopper. It's available in the daytime and will join the locusts in hopping around your island on the ground. It's that time of year that the cicada broods emerge, and the first and most common one is the brown cicada. If you hear its distinct hissing chirp, that means that one is nearby. As with all cicadas, it's only available in July and August. Not all dissimilar to the sound of a circular saw cutting wood, the robust cicada will be another bug blasting your ears starting in July. It's the second of five total cicadas in the game. 
The third and largest one is the aptly named Giant Cicada. It has the same spawning conditions as the previous two, but is more rare than them as well. In the very early morning and evening hours is the Evening Cicada. It has a distinct cry that you can hear from 4am to 8am and again at 4pm to 7pm. The Cicada shell isn't a bug, really, and with it only being worth 10 bells, it really isn't worth your time either. But it is quite rare to find, so get it now before the end of August. A lot of new bugs will start spawning on your palm trees, one of which is the Blue Weevil Beetle. It's available all day for July and August. Quite commonly, you'll find an Earth-Boring Dung Beetle. Find them all day on your island, skittering through the grass. You'll need to stay up pretty late for the Scarab Beetle, as it doesn't spawn until 11 o'clock at night. On top of that, its rarity makes it tough to find, too. Spawning on all tree types is the Saw Stag. It's available all day and sells for a good amount of bells, despite the fact that they aren't all that rare. Similar in looks to the Saw Stag, the Mayama Stag sells for slightly less, but can be seen just as commonly. Another beetle that you'll have to stay up late for is the Giant Stag. It's another rare beetle that will be worth your time to catch given its high selling price. Another palm tree exclusive beetle is the Cyclomatis Stag. It's one of many very expensive bugs that you can hunt for in the evening hours of your island. Tied for the most expensive bug in the game is the Golden Stag. At 12,000 bells, they're not easy to come by, but if you can properly set up a Nook Miles Island to spawn exclusively beetles, they'll come eventually. The Giraffe Stag is another beetle that's tied for the most expensive and shares the same spawning conditions as the Golden Stag, albeit a little bit more rare in my experience. The Horn Dynastid isn't that rare and its selling price might give you some incentive to catch some, especially if you still need it for your museum. The Mighty Horned Atlas looks impressive, but is actually one of the less expensive palm tree beetles. Despite that, though, they're still worth it at 8,000 bells each. Similarly, the Horned Elephant is another rare beetle that appears at night. It's another beetle that perhaps looks more expensive than it is, but it's also worth 8,000 bells. The third bug in the game that's tied for the most expensive is the Horned Hercules. Pick it up and all the other palm tree beetles that we've discussed before they're gone next month. Twice a day will you get the opportunity to catch a walking stick, with a chance in the early morning and a chance again in the later evening hours as well. Don't let the walking leaf fool you into thinking that it's a piece of furniture. If you ever find yourself wondering when you dropped an item on the ground, it could very well be one of these guys. Finally, we have 24 sea creatures available this month, with 3 new ones and 1 leaving before August, so here are the 4 that you need to worry about. Lucky for you, the only thing that you need to make sure that you catch before August is the very common, easy to catch seaweed. The moon jellyfish returns and makes for great island decoration with its faint glow. The giant isopod will test your skills as a diver pretty thoroughly. It's very fast and well worth it if you can manage to catch one. A late night diving session can net you a horseshoe crab, if you're lucky. They're pretty hard to find, but sell for a fairly decent amount of bells. Thank you for watching the July edition of my monthly guides. If you want to link to the previous and future monthly guides, then you can click on the playlist that you see here. Thanks for the support on the channel as always, and come support me on Twitch as well, where I'm live six days a week at 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern. Thank you again, and I'll see you next month for the Animal Crossing New Horizons Guide to August.